Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today I'm creating a walk-in wardrobe, a walk-in closet, whatever you want to call it. It is pretty large and out there, like I've done houses that are smaller than this wardrobe. Um, it's much more bigger than my whole bedroom and maybe even my office put together, maybe about the same size. So yeah, it's quite large and I saw an inspiration inspiration photo of this on Pinterest and it was actually a Sims 4 CC creator. They had something and I was wondering, I would like the layout of it. So this is more like based on the layout. It's not exactly the same, but I really like the vanity in between the open wardrobe and a mirrored wardrobe. So I went for that sort of look. I'm going ahead and using my little IKEA Alex desk hack that I like to do, which is just sizing down these Dream Home Decorator side tables and stacking them on top of each other with the plain white table and then using the canvases to block in the sides so it looks a little bit more finished. I am using the wrong table. I'm using a table instead of the desk at the moment and you can see the wood grain on the table. So I do go ahead and switch that out to the actual desk. As always, this is a very, very pink build because I can't help myself. I really love the color pink. It is not even my favorite color, but pink looks really nice in The Sims 4, so I use a lot of pink. Apologies, but not really any apologies because I love it. And I'm using one of these built-in wardrobes, which I believe is from Get Together. I think it's get together, I'm not 100% sure. And then using the base game mirror and sliding that into the doors to give it a mirrored effect. Um, to do this, you just delete the walls because otherwise it will just snap to the walls and place it into the wardrobe and put your walls back in. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use a lot of Dream Home decorate in this as well. And to create the like built-in wardrobe things, I do try one thing here and I don't like it, so I do switch it up a little bit later on. And I added clothes from high school years in Dream Home Decorator because they are the only hanging clothes at the moment, which is pretty annoying because there's not really much of a selection and I wish there was more options to make it look a little bit different because otherwise I'm just using the same clothing items just in a different swatch. So what I did here is because I wanted this to be flush with the vanity is I deleted the walls around and placed the Dream Home Decorator cupboard things in there and then because I wanted it to fill right to the back so there was no gap I just repeated it and put this against the wall. I used tool mod to move it forward slightly because there was a little bit of a gap but you could do this without tool mod it just made it easier for me. Again you just delete the walls so you can alt place things. If you didn't know there is free placement in the sims if you are on PC you just hold alt and your item will freely move you just need bb.move objects turned on and then if you are on console I believe you have to I think I don't know if it's L1 or L2 so the trigger buttons on the back you might have to test which one it is you click it and it'll pop up saying it's either snap to the grid or half tile snapping and then enable free placement I can't remember exactly what it says but you toggle through that and then you should be able to freely move items where you see it's nice and smooth because I always get that question all the time and half tile can be pretty good as well it means you could have more slots where you can place items and this comes in handy when you want to make sure something is placed more precisely than using the free placement so I do recommend using half tile placement if you're on PC half tile placement is F5 and it will just turn it on and you just click F5 to get rid of it. So I wanted these cubes to fit in here nicely and these ones weren't working too well because of the size that I would need them. They come too far out forward. So I end up using the high school years ones because they don't stick out as far forward, like they don't have as much depth. So I could size those up and they'd still just fit perfectly fine. Um, I don't know if I end up using tool mod to change them. I can't remember, but I do change this a little bit. Instead of having the six here, I change it to four and put doors on it just for a little bit more, something a little bit different compared to what I've got elsewhere. So yeah, I, to do the doors, cause I wanted to make it look like one of them was open. I used a archway, placed that in and then removed the walls and then went ahead and placed the doors in 
wherever you want because when you don't have a wall there it won't snap to it so you can angle it and make it look like it's slightly up and the mirror that i placed here on the left that is next to the atria where i'll get rid of in a minute is from high school years it is a stand up mirror so it normally leans slightly and i use tool mod and just set the rotation to minus 10 to make it stand up straight so I can then place it in the wall. And you do see the legs sticking out the back, so do bear that in mind if you've got another room on the back. They don't stick out absolutely loads, so it is something that can be covered if you put a TV stand, because it's quite low behind there, or just honestly anything could cover it. It's my favorite part, is just detailing the entire room, adding a few little things on the vanity, just to make it look a little bit more colorful and lived in. And that's why also why I wanted the door open. I wanted to make it look a little bit more lived in. I placed shoes in the room on the left with the door partly open. And to do this, because I'm using shelves, the shoes wanted to snap to it. But they weren't sitting at the right height because I sized the shelves up. So what I had to do, I think I did it off camera, is I took the shelves out, got the shoes to the correct height and just placed them in and then put the shelves back in afterwards. I absolutely love this rug from the Pastel Pop Kit, it is one of my favourites. I love all the swatches to it to be fair, they are really really cool. I felt like the place was missing something so I went ahead and placed a small sofa in here and a chair. I also added some pink on these sides by using this piece here and I just thought it looked a little bit interesting and different. I sort of did it by accident but I like the way it looks so I went ahead and kept it. And yet again, using the pastel pop kit because it is my favorite kit. And I love Plumbella and she followed me back and she keeps liking my posts on Instagram. Um, so if you ever see this, Plumbella, I absolutely love you. I went ahead and added my favorite hanging plant, which is from the Blooming Rooms kit, which is the hanging plant. I think it's the only hanging plant that's from the ceiling we have. Oh no, there is one from the Paranormal Stuff Pack. But I don't like that one quite as much as the one from the Blooming Rooms kit. It just looks a lot more real and I like the pot that it's in. I don't like the big massive gold pot that is from the Blooming Rooms one. I do have to size this down though because it is really really long so it works really well in tall rooms. But like I said you can just size it down. But that is it for this build. If you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye!